Hello everybody, happy Easter weekend. I'm excited, I'm really excited for this one. It's been like almost 12 months in the making, if not longer. <laughs> so this is pretty exciting for me to finally be able to do this one. How is everybody? Thanks to those who are already here and tuning in. I appreciate you guys stopping by on your Friday or Saturday, depending where you are in the world. Hey Andy, good to see you again. Bao Nguyen, Ethan, carrots even. They are one of my favorite vegetables, fun fact. <laughs> so, glad you guys are here. Um, I mean, you've read the thumbnail, you've read the title, you know what's going on. Um, Bricks Animations, hey mate, thanks for stopping by again. I just realized that's my mic in the shot. Hope you guys can hear me okay. There's a couple of fans going because it's quite warm here, despite it not being summer anymore. Um, well, I guess there's only one fan to keep me cold. The other one's just my computer going crazy. Brick fries. Great name. Fries are my favorite food outside of... Well, I, uh, fries, they're not really a vegetable, are they? If they were a vegetable, they'd be my favorite. I guess potatoes are vegetable. Anyway, Bricks Animation. Thanks, mate. I really appreciate the compliment. Andy, I'm so excited for this. Me too, Andy. Me too. You guys will know what we're building. Based off the title and the thumbnail. The Office. It's finally happening. I've had this in my backlog for about a year, honestly. I think I got this almost a year ago, like last week, which is insane to think about. The fact that... Literally, like, how do I awkwardly... There we go. Um, yeah, the fact that I've had this for so long and it's just been sitting in my backlog waiting for this moment. I always knew I wanted to do something with it instead of just build it and put it on display by, its, by itself, basically. Um, so, you'll notice in the back corner here, actually, you know what, let me just move the chat so you guys can see. Over there in the corner. That's my wallet. We don't need to see that. But, this is the start of Dunder Mifflin in Lego. Woohoo! Hooray! Um, and, the Tev and the Kevin t-shirt made a comeback. Yes, it did. Yep, it sure did. Um, for the special occasion. Yep, you know, it's the only office themed merch that I have, so I was like, we've got to whip it out for the special occasion. Um, but yes, um, yes, that is the warehouse. The warehouse, I built it yesterday. I spent about three or four hours putting that together. Um, I do want to show you guys more, but I do also want to wait for the full video. So that's about all you're going to see for now, but that is the warehouse of Dunder Mifflin, and then on top of that will be this set so this is going to go on top of the warehouse and then on top of that is another floor which will expand the office further because obviously in the show the office is one full floor basically you know it's one level of this office building i guess but um because this is quite compact and quite tight uh we've got to go up a level instead so whatever's missing from this like the annex and the bathrooms will be on floor two um, so it makes it a three tier building, um, and Dunder Mifflin takes up two levels instead of one, <laughs> which is cool. More room for more office stuff and more references to try and fit in. So I'm very excited to kick into this. I also bought a couple of minifigures as well, which we may or may not open at some point during the stream. I thought we'll start with it, but maybe we'll kick straight into the office. What do you guys think? Should we open these minifigures first or should we kick straight into the office? What do you reckon? I have my uh, opening tool. I don't want to show a, a knife on YouTube in case they say, oh, this guy's promoting violence. Um, the annex, I'm really good. Figs, you should open them. Okay, right. Andy and Ethan have spoken. We don't want to do the figures. That's all I needed. I did want to do it, but I was like, people are excited to see Dunder Mifflin. But you know what? We'll go straight into it. Let's hope these aren't duplicates. I already got the dinosaur and... Who did I get last time? I got the dinosaur and... Was it the Gamer Girl? I actually don't remember who I got. Maybe someone can remind me. But... Oh wait, they're up there. I got Dino and the... Oh, the... Paralympian. The guy with the prosthetic legs. Um, but yeah. Place your bets now. Who you think we've got going on here. Who, who do you think we're going to get? I do really want to get the Detective Man. Or the Mushroom Kid. 
You know what? I don't mind whichever one I get. As long as it's not the dinosaur or the Paralympian because I've already got them. <laughs> so, let's see. Put that one down there. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, I lost the head. But, hey, it's the mushroom. Let's go. Look at that. I lost the head. There's the head. Shouldn't open it. Should have opened this on a flat surface. Yo. Let's quickly build her up. Oh, that's the skirt. Okay. One, two... Smiley face, mushroom head, how does that, like that, boom, look at that, here we have the mushroom, yo, this is cute, I love the red little mushroom head, that's so cool, what a nice piece, Andy's favourite, well there you go Andy, look at that, we got your favourite, how let me just swap camera there, look at that, how cute, what an adorable, oh that's my face, what an adorable minifigure, very nice, Okay, well, there we go. Another one down. Let's go on number two. Um, I didn't lose anything else, did I? Oh well, I did. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, let's move this out of the way just so we can open this on a flat surface. Um, crossing fingers, placing bets on who we're going to get. I'm going to say, just because I want him the most, the detective man. Hopefully we get the detective Andy. Fingers crossed. Okay. Not looking, and we're going to tip him out. Oh, that doesn't look like the... Oh, a Viking? Ooh, he's got red hair. Red's my favorite color. So if you got red hair, you're already in my good books. Um, okay, it looks like we've got a gladiator or a Viking of sorts. Medieval fella. Look at that. This is cool. I love the design on the torso and the legs there. That's fun. The sword, that's pretty groovy as well. I think that's pretty unique. Back printing too. If we take his head off, you can... Oh, and there's a second face print. Look at that, terrifying. I actually like that face better. Maybe I'll flip this around. Flip that around. Chuck that there. How good. Look at that. We got some... We got a good start. I'm, I'm just glad I didn't get doubles, honestly. Look at that. Boom. Two very cool minifigures. Will you make instructions on Rebrickable? So, the instructions for this are already on Rebrickable because... Let me just... Whoop. The instructions for this are on Rebrickable because... I'm not that creative. I didn't come up with this myself. Um, someone's already made this and um, posted the instructions. So this was designed by Brick Artisan. I'll put a put a link in the comments when this video is like reposted as a public video. But um, unless you go onto Rebrickable and search The Office or Dunder Mifflin, um, it should show up. There was it's about two thousand six hundred pieces. So it's quite a big, it's quite a big um, amount of spare parts that are required, plus the Lego set itself. So you need this, plus 2,613 pieces to build that. So that's why it's been a long time in the making, because I had to order all the pieces, you know, patiently save up the amount of money that it costs to do it, because, you know, live in life, these things get expensive. You don't want to blow a lot of money on uh, Lego <laughs> when you've got to pay for more important things unfortunately like adulting and living but finally found the funds to do it so I'm very excited to get started missed a few questions here did you see the new D&D &D set I did Andy I did um, I'm not a big D&D &D fan I like as in I've never really played it so I don't know much about the lore but I have friends that play D&D &D and they love it and they think it's a very cool set with a lot of fun references kind of like this one which is exciting anyway let's unbox the holy let's get them out this is a lot of pieces oh man look at this does anyone have this set andy did you buy this set i can't remember if you you bought it or not you just really want it i think you got no you did you got it recently because you sent me a picture um, holy crap, look at the amount of stickers. Whoa. Toby and Michael in the first bag. <gasps> even better. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this. even just the manual. My God, I'm so excited. Got to get those points, scan that QR code. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I love this. <laughs> yeah. I am very excited. I'm very excited to do this now. It's all, it's all real. It's all happening now. Holy crap. There's so many bags. <laughs> How many bags have we got? Five, six, nine. Sorry, this is really noisy. Um, eight. 
four, two, seven, three, ten. Ten bags. Okay, so ten. Nine. This is how I sort them out. I put them last in the back and the bottom. Ten in the bottom and then work my way back up so it's easy to grab them. Ten, nine, eight. What comes after eight? Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Bag number one. Oh, I am so excited. Let me just boost the brightness on that. Oh, it's all happening. Holy crap. This is so cool. <laughs> Um, sorry, I missed a couple of things. Lego Timmy. Sup, mate. Thanks for popping in, Lego Timmy. 26k subs. Thanks for the compliment, mate. I'm sure your content's just as great. You wouldn't have got 20K, 26k subs for no reason. I'm sure you've got some amazing content up your sleeve as well. Everyone's got their unique twist and style on things, but I appreciate the kind words. Hopefully I will also have 26k subs one day. Oop. B Dog Productions, excited to see how the build turns out. Yeah, me, me too, mate. I'm very excited. It's been a long time coming. The sick complex floor. Nice. See, when I when I built the sick complex, you can't see it, but it's over there. It does exist. Um, when I built that as well, I was initially going to put the office in there, but then I was like, ah, oh, it would be cool if it had its own building, you know? Because I I just started watching the office and I was getting really into it and. You know the law behind it all and all the references that were in this set i was like it'll be a shame if this just got put into the boat the sit complex as a floor of its own you know i wish it could uh, have its own <laughs> have its own building so when i saw that brick artisan had made the um the whole dunder mifflin building i was like okay that's a sign definitely gotta do it And so I did. I, I bought the instructions a year ago and I've just been patiently waiting until I've got a spare. It was... Alright. How much do you guys think I spent on spare parts? This isn't to gloat or anything. This is purely just out of curiosity. What do you guys think was the total cost of all those pieces? Let's just say I could have bought one really big set or I could have bought all the pieces to buy that. <laughs> 250 Oh, I'm... A bit more than that, I thought. I mean, I'm talking New Zealand dollars, so I don't know what it is in pounds versus US dollars, but I paid, drum roll, 900 New Zealand dollars. So that's about 450, uh, yeah, like 400 pounds. Yeah, 400 pounds, that's the one, Andy. So, a lot of money. Um, but, well worth it. Basically, it was either I get the Avengers Tower or I buy the Dunder Mifflin parts and I'd already committed myself to doing that and I knew in the back of my mind I wanted to get that done sooner than later so here we are anyway I'm babbling I'm yapping let's begin with Michael Scott look at this guy what a man <laughs> what a hot dude look he's smiling Steve Carell never looked better look at that your draw dropped, Andy. Yeah, no. When I realized how much it was going to cost, my draw dropped too. It actually would have been cheaper, but just before I decided to um, buy the parts, Bricklink decided to start adding sales tax onto things in New Zealand because they weren't doing that previously. So everything went up by 15%, which is mad. Um, oh my gosh, there's so many... I do want to look at these properly but I do also just want to get the build started so I know there's a whole lot of writing here that I definitely should look at but I do oh look there's the guys that designed it look at these guys go shout out to these guys what are their names Chris Laura and Diego shout out to Chris Laura and Diego these guys nailed the build and I can't wait to get started so this is how it's looking <laughs> so bags one and two is purely just Michael's office classic fashion of course he gets the a whole bloody two bags to himself and then the rest is three four five six seven eight nine ten yay let's get started how am i going to fit all this on my desk oh let's not lose any pieces let me just i should have made some room earlier oh. keep that down there move you down there just taking everything off my desk basically so i can make some room nice here we go Let's begin. Woohoo! I can't wait to see the see Band of the Cat. 
<laughs> yes, I believe there is a cat in this, right? So, um, Angela's cat. And I think, well, she's got, is there a couple of cats in this? I can't remember. Um, I know that there's like a cat hiding in a, in a cupboard. One of Angela's many cats. Get on there. There we go. Cool. Ho, ho, ho. Here we go, guys. It's kicking off. Um, I forgot my background music. Let's get Ludwig's background music going again, because that worked a treat last time. It was nice, groovy stuff. Or maybe we should find some Easter tunes. Lo-fi Easter background music. No, there's not really background music for Easter, is it, eh? Ludwig stream music. Playlist. Mogul moves. Here we go. <laughs> Nice. It starts exactly the same every time because I'm so boring. <laughs> Hopefully that's not overtaking my voice though. Yes, Bandit lives in the office in a filing cabinet. That's the one. I remember when she pulled it out during the fire, uh, the fire drill, which is my favorite scene ever. Okay, here we go. goes in the corner there Whoa, we're on a roll look at that we put a piece down we're making moves is that the right way no that must go here how long did you spend building the set andy did you like get it out the way straight away or did you take your time with it and like you know savor the moment <laughs> That was so funny when she tried to get Bandit to Oscar. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that I think that's one of my favorite moments. That whole chaotic when she tries to throw him through the roof. Like, what the? F <laughs> what are you thinking? This guy's gonna, he's trying to save his own life, and she's gonna try and throw him a freaking cat. I mean, I know plenty of people who love cats that would also do the same thing, but <laughs> better off taking the cat yourself. Though I guess she was didn't know if she was ever gonna make it out, so she thought Oscar would escape. But that man just fell through the roof. <laughs> took me forever because it, I took my time looking at all the pieces and stickers and I was also watching while building it. Nice. Yeah, that's fair. Watching the show would definitely be a slight distraction, I suppose, but <laughs> great way to do it. Watch The Office while building The Office. What a crazy, like, whirlwind that is. Let me just lift this up so you guys can see my head a bit more. Here we go. Okay. Progress. Look at that. Face. So this is, is going to be Michael's office. I'm assuming. Well, not I'm assuming. I know it is. So that's very fun and very cool. I'd say it took me three and a half hours. Okay. I mean, that's that's not forever. That's actually pretty quick if you think about it. Like a lot of a lot of sets can take that amount of time. Um, and if you're taking your time with it, you know, admiring it and savoring it all, that's that's a reasonable time. When I think forever, I think like a week or something like that. But Hey, good on you for taking your time with it and not rushing it. I say, so good on you. Okay. Let's try and leave that there so you guys can actually see what I'm up to. Um, okay. Frank MGA23, greetings from SCUSA. Thanks for popping by, mate. Good to see ya. SC. I'm trying to rack my brain and figure out what where that is. Mate, it's funny, because um, my... <laughs> is that Southern California? No. SC. No, I, I'm not even going to try and guess. It's funny, because my mind went straight to Sacramento, but I'm like, is that just because I'm thinking of the office? Where is SC? Please enlighten me. <laughs> um... I thought my geography was good, but there's so... Oh, Southern California. I was right. Mm. <laughs> All right. I got it right the second time. So thanks for stopping by from Southern California, mate. Or South California. Appreciate it. 
What's the weather like over there right now? <laughs> What's the weather like in uh, Southern California? Let's put the accent on. That is terrible. South Cali. I thought Scranton. Yeah, Scranton. Yeah. That's also a good point as well. Um, boom, boom, boom. Noel, hey mate, thanks for stopping by. How are you? Is there a Lego move update that I did not see? Any set crash during the move? there a Lego move update that I did not see um there was I put out a video last week which was my uh, moving from my old home to my new home but um that video was like accumulated over about six months of footage <laughs> of me um slowly piecing my my room back together but yeah that was my last um my last full upload which was very exciting um and yeah Andy said the noodle shop modular crashed that's Yep, unfortunately. Well, I guess I should say thankfully. Thankfully, that was the only set that broke, um, which I'm very relieved about because let's boost that up a little bit so you guys can see better. Um, it could have been a lot worse. The 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 noodle shop and the the bottom floor of the daily bugle are the only ones that broke. Um, so yeah, thankfully everything else was all right. But feel free to check the video out before or during this stream. You can watch two of me at the same time. Um, it was a lot of fun to make that one. I really tried to put a lot of effort into the, the storytelling and trying to make a move as interesting as possible because it was basically going to be a vlog. And I was like, oh, let's just try and make it more than just a vlog. Let's try and make it interesting by like showing like the drama throughout it and not just, hey, this happened. Hey, this happened. Try and like show the process, you know. So I'm very happy that I managed to get that across and a lot of people have said they enjoyed it um, which was very good to hear and a big relief to know that it was worth the time I put into it. E. Michael's shelf of trains and trinkets. Yep, there it is. Michael's shelf of... I can't even see it. <laughs> Let's take it out so you can see it. No, we can't take it out. I've broken it already. Uh-oh. But yes. Michael's got his shelf. I'm sure he's very proud of all his stuff that's on here. Let's take that out so you guys can see it. There we go. Oh, where are you? A very nice looking shelf. Yeah. Real Bricks. Hello. Thanks for stopping by, mate. How are you? <laughs> that's like my go-to thing. How are you? How's everything going? How's life? Okay, what's that? That's a diamond? That is a diamond, okay. So this will be one of his many awards. There's so many references, and um, I think you mentioned it before, Andy, but yes, I have had a brief look over your list of uh, all the references. Holy moly, there were so many. Um, but I've already forgotten half of them. <laughs> I have the Lego office right in front of me right now. I'm rebuilding it as I want. Oh, sick! Oh, cool, building it along with me. That's so fun. Real Bricks is great. That's great, mate. we got the globe here. I don't know if my camera's going to focus on this, but let's actually do it manually. This is a great moment for New Zealand because we are on the map right next to Australia. This little dot is New Zealand next to big old Australia. So the fact that <laughs> we made it onto a Lego piece is very exciting because we never make it anywhere in the world. So many uh, globes and production companies, they always forget to put New Zealand on in movies and stuff. Like, we, we don't exist. So, that is a big feat for us, and I'm glad we made it. Real Bricks is... Hey, you're from New Zealand. Kia ora, mate. Thanks for showing up. On your Saturday morning at midday. <laughs> what a time to be alive. I, I popped down the road before just to, like, get a few things before I started doing the stream and the mall's crazy because you know all the shops closed for one day because it's good friday and suddenly everyone's going mad and they're like oh my gosh the mall closed for a day we must go down and <laughs> hang out for like 
a long time <laughs> because the mall was closed for one day. Thanks, mate. I really appreciate that. I'm glad you like them. I try to put some effort into them. <laughs> I try my best. The globe that Jim uses to decide where to go on holiday. Yes, he spins the globe and points, I believe. I really want to re-watch The Office now because, you know, I watched it once and I loved it and I've just gone back and like re-watched my favourite moments basically but I do need to sit down and watch the whole thing all over again. Oh, I can already see another reference. The world's best boss mug. That's definitely not going to focus. Look at that. World's best boss. How cool. Oh, this camera is wobbling. Apologies. Whee. <laughs> I've got this, this camera above me. It's so awkwardly just strung up. I'm afraid it's going to fall at any moment. So that could make for a bit of entertaining. <laughs> if you can't tell, Andy loves The Office. Nope, I uh, I caught on to that one pretty much straight away. <laughs> as soon as I announced this, holy crap. The biggest fan right here. Um, and that's great. That's good that there's such a big fan out there. Our first sticker placement. Holy. It is... Which one? It's his award. Did I miss a... Am I missing a sticker sheet? Or am I... Is it a printed piece that I'm forgetting about take out menu I feel like I'm missing something huh okay I'm gonna have to retrace my steps there did I miss a I dropped the butterfly that's a good start um, maybe I've missed a sticker sheet somewhere Andy, how many sticker sheets are they meant to be? It says 47. You're right, I should check the number. 41, 40, 40, hmm, 42, 43. Oh, I'm blind. I'm so blind. See, I thought it's on the, on the, in the instruction manual, it's printed yellow. Why have they printed it yellow, but then on here it's white? <laughs> that was, that was so, yeah, what? Oh, because it's see-through. It's clear. It's, look, I, <laughs> <laughs> this always happens and I put that on terribly but I don't care I'm just happy I found it all right there we go we found it and it's on there and it's not straight but we're just gonna ignore that don't look don't look <laughs> that was a chaotic start and it's only been like 10 minutes <laughs> um, they could have made that clearer they could have made that clearer but that's okay anyway let's put some uh, feces on the floor or is it chocolate? Or is it ice cream? You decide. The stress. Honestly, that was stressful. I was like, man, it's only been like 10 minutes. Why am I already losing stickers? But anyway, we live. We move on. Um, I can't change my autofocus settings, can I? Oh yeah, I can. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now we put some drawers in there. Do we put anything in the drawers? No, we just chuck the drawers in empty. Okay. Alright, we're making Michael's desk. The famous desk of Michael Scott. I told hackers, yeah, poo. Of course he did that. Didn't really wanna didn't really wanna <laughs> say it myself, but thank you. Thank you, Andy, for taking the for doing that one for me. I wish they included Andy and Aaron. I wish they did too. There's so many characters that they should have included, but obviously they didn't. Oh well. Um, okay, another piece. Another sticker. There we go. That one's a lot better than the last one. I'm not even going to try and show you guys this one. It's just... Look at that. How good. And now we've got another one, which is going to be his phone. I'm considering making the uh, the extra characters that they forgot, like Andy and Aaron, with custom, like, you know, my own um, pieces. 
um, or buying specific pieces because I've seen a few people make them online so it wouldn't be hard to source the pieces to try and do it here we go we got the hot dog on the table and then we also have Jan calling on the phone so you know <laughs> Michael's probably in trouble if Jan's calling um all right now we better actually put the phone itself down on the thing right there boom oh this disc is gonna be full holy and here we go we're gonna make his dundee now here we go oh look at that a prime beautiful looking dundee how freaking good <laughs> and of course we can't forget the world's best boss mug we're gonna chuck that right next to the dundee I'll zoom in for a bit for you guys there you go shaky shaky but that's fine um okay so now in the bottom drawer we've got to put sticker number 34 which is Oh, it's a poster for his film. I forget the name of the film, but Michael Scott's like spy film that he wanted to make. Well, Billy, I haven't blah 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 since my wife died. So that's a fun reference. Look at that. We're going to find so much stuff in drawers today, guys. I'm really excited about that. Let me just drop that so you guys can see that. How cool. How freaking cool. Threat level midnight. That's the one. You can always rely on Andy to know what these references are. <laughs> um... All right, now we've got to put his computer screen on. Um, okay. I believe I caught this reference early when I was doing a bit of research, and I think it's when he was singing James Blunt is on the TV on here. Um, which sticker are we talking? 21. Oh, yeah, it is. That's when he's playing James Blunt. Because <laughs> you can see the music note when he's singing, Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. That's one of my favorite favorite moments of the show. That is so funny. And that is not on in the middle, so we're gonna try real carefully to get this in the middle. That'll do, not bad. Not bad placement there, I must say. Come on, focus for me. Or don't, that's fine. I didn't want you to anyway. There we go, look at that. So now we got a little piece there with his music note on it. So this is when Michael was all upset in his office singing James Blunt. Um, as you do. <laughs> a bubble and toilet. No, my wife did not die. That was a that was a quote from uh, The Office. I don't have a wife yet. But um, I... <laughs> no. Thankfully, no one's wife died. Um, okay. And let's put a stud in there. Damn, we're coming along pretty quickly with this one, I must say. That little minor hiccup. Um, but we're making progress. Look at that. Oh, how cool. Look at that. His office is coming together so well already. He's got his desk ready to roll. He's got his golden ticket. He's got his globe. I wonder if his golden ticket takes him to the Unknowns Chocolate Factory in Scotland. <laughs> if you know, you know. All right, did I miss anything? No. Sorry, I'm getting emails from people. <laughs> um, okay, now we're up to bag two. Wow, that was fast. So I didn't put, you can tell where I missed things. So I didn't put windows, glass in the windows. Whoops, Daisy, let me just fix that up. There's a butterfly, where the, where the hell did this go? Or was this from something else? Oh no, this is from the mushroom kid. <laughs> I was like, yeah, why is there a butterfly in this set? My bad. I knew I dropped something. Whoops a daisy. Um okay. So what did I miss? I forgot to put this down on there, so that's another award. Nice. The live stream stuff is amazing. Brick basement, thanks mate. I'm glad you like it. I um <laughs> tried to put a bit of effort into this, um, to make sure it was, you know, as good as possible. But I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, eh? Um Good cameras, good lighting. <laughs> I'm real like particular about my setup, so I had to make sure it was as good as could be before it, you know, before I got started. So appreciate the kind words, mate. Thank you so much. 
All right, those are all spare pieces. So let's chuck those off to the side. You know what? We're going to put Michael in his chair. Hyper Leopard. Hey, mate, from Auckland. Right down the road from me, mate. Thanks for stopping by on Saturday, <laughs> midday. <laughs> um, okay, there we go. Michael sitting in his office, having a, having a gander. Come on, focus on him. There he is. Yeah, that's so fun. Oh, I'm loving it already. He's stoked. Um, why do I have this? <laughs> is that from another thing that I just forgot? I'm moving along so quickly that I'm now forgetting things. Or is this from something? I don't even know. <laughs> Look at me, I'm just forgetting things left, right, and center, eh? That is so funny. Anyway, moving on to bag two. Oh, it's the check to science. I knew it. I knew it. I was like, this is the big check to science. I must have missed that step. Or, yeah, I definitely missed this step. Michael having a little sing. Yep, he's just having a sing. He's just singing... James Blunt, and he's about to donate $340 to science. Yeah! <laughs> I'm just going to prop that up at the back there for now. Um, anyway, moving on. Bag two. We're about to build Michael's best friend. You know, it's kind of funny that the first two characters you build are the two people that don't get along at all. Well, I'm sure Toby likes... I'm sure Toby likes Michael, but Michael just hates Toby. There's some brutal words that are said to Toby from Michael. <laughs> like, if I was in a room with a certain leader, I would shoot him twice instead. Oh, I would shoot Toby twice. <laughs> How brutal. What a poor guy. Um, he's got a camera, so good on him. I like this guy already. And he's definitely going to cure rabies with that $340. There we go. Toby. Toby Flenderson. Look at him. Nice. Let's chuck him in. Let's chuck him off to the side for now. Let's also chuck my phone out of the way. Um, okay. So now we're going to put another seat in the building. Okay. That goes... Oops, wrong colour. <laughs> you did not see me just use my teeth to get Lego out of, of the thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, we've got to build a lampshade. That's important. Get that lamp on there. Boom. Looking grand. Let's try and keep this over here. Cool. Okay. Um, where did the stud go? It's asking for it. Oh, the stud goes in the bottom of that. Of course it does. So I missed a step. <laughs> Just doing my job. Toby with a strange camera. Yep, he's just always got a camera. I promise I'm not. I'm not. I'm not strange with my camera either. <laughs> I use it for a job. Um, okay. Now. On to another lamp because Michael just can't get enough of his lamps apparently okay so that goes in the corner so that fits next to it cool boom and now we get more meeting chairs because you know Jim's got to go in and tell him things and so does well everybody <laughs> Toby is definitely the Scranton Strangler. It all adds up. I, w I saw a theory about that, eh? There's so many so many darn good theories that he's the Scranton, Scranton Strangler. And, you know what? I agree. <laughs> I agree. It very well could be. He acts so strange that it all adds up. All the dots lead to him. People are pretty clever with these theories, though. Okay. That goes there. Groovy tune. Ludwig's got some good tunes in his playlist. Do 
can't wait to see the weird baby poster. Oh yeah, that's the one that um they get Oscar, eh? <laughs> or they get Angela? I know Angela gets it for Oscar or someone. Oscar, yeah, I think it is for Oscar, right? Or the other way around. I can't remember who gets it, but I remember I can see it in my head. <laughs> it sits in accounting. I know that much. Du, 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 du. All right, big window going in. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Did I forget a step? No, nope. putting things in prematurely. That's me. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. This is a fun song. For Secret Santa from Toby to Angela, that's what it was. You can uh, see <laughs> my knowledge is a bit short on all these little references, but I'm trying my best. Um, oh, I forgot to put the sticker on for the blinds. Um, okay, let's take these off and put some stickers on. That one goes on the inside. Sticker 50. Sticker 50? 5 0. There it is. Boom. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's delicately place this baddie on here. Boom. We have a blind. Yeah. And then we gotta do the same for the next one as well. And that blind goes on the inside. Okay. Okay. Well, let's take the window out before we do that. For the last, the last two years, I've watched The Office 11 times. Oopsie. Wow. You've definitely caught on to all the references there. No wonder why you know so much, Andy. <laughs> Good lord. I've only watched this, the series once. And then watched, you know, little bits here and there. So, who's the bigger fan? I think we've got a winner. Okay, windows are in place. And now, let's start to build more of this baddie. Declan, what's up mate? Thanks for stopping by again. Hope you're doing well. How's everything going over in... Good old England. I oh know we're getting premature once again. Wrong side. Get in there, mate. You go there. You go there. Boom. And then you go there. Boom. And then that goes there. Oh, here we go. We're getting height. We're leveling out with the top of the window now. Good man, it's Friday now. Are you having a good Saturday? Yeah, man, pretty good Saturday so far. Had yesterday off work, which was great. Managed to start building this monstrosity of a <laughs> of a build, um, which was very exciting to kick back and actually spend a whole day doing that. And um, yeah, no, Saturday's gone well as well. Pretty cruisy morning. I'm um, just sort of chilling out, ready to start yapping on here for a couple hours, you know? <laughs> but I hope you're having a good, good Friday. Do the shops close in the UK on Good Friday? I imagine they do, right? It must be all over the world. They just shut up shop for the day and everyone gets a holiday. Which is good, because everyone deserves it. Okay. That goes there, that goes there. No, they don't in Ireland. Well, <laughs> I guess Ireland's special and they say everybody can just go around and continue to work despite the rest of the world closing up shop. Not like big shops like Tesco or Asda, but yeah. Oh, interesting. See, in New Zealand, every shop's shut, even the supermarkets. The only things that don't shut are essentials like dairies or uh, like corner shops and, um, petrol stations they're still open but yeah even even supermarkets shut in um in new zealand which is why if people go crazy like you know the shops are shut for a day and then today when the shops are open before they're shut tomorrow again um everyone just goes mad today and it's like wow we haven't been to the mall for one day we must go down there and just shop like there's no tomorrow it's mad good for the economy i guess 
you ever going to visit England? Yeah, mate. In fact, I'll be coming to England in November, just before Christmas. I'm going down. I'm going over there to um with to see my girlfriend's family in Scotland, and we're also going to be in England, like along the way. We're making a few stops in particular. Are they cities? I'm not sure what you call them. We're going to like Manchester, Liverpool, and we've got friends in London, so we're gonna go see them as well. But we'll definitely be heading over there. I've never, never been to Europe or outside of. I went to Asia once, and I went to Australia and some of the Cook Islands, but I haven't been to Europe, which is very exciting. Francis animates. Hey, mate. And Bomba Cos from Italy. Hey, I got family in Italy. Hope you're doing well in Italy. And Francis, thanks for stopping by again. And yeah, I set up my Wii today. Last time I played it was 12 years ago. Holy moly. <laughs> that's exciting. I, I don't think I... Oh, no, that's a lie. I have played Wii before. Um, but I was I never had like a game console as a kid. So um, it was never really my, my thing to be playing like on the Wii or the PlayStation. But I think I might have played the Wii at some of my friend's house before. So that's exciting. Hope you got a good game like Mario or would it be like Wii Sport or something cool like that. Make sure to come to Manchester. Oh, mate, done deal. I'll check the itinerary, but I think, I think we're going to, I don't know. If Ma yeah, no, we might be. Either way, we'll make it work. We'll have time. We're on holiday, for goodness sake. I'll make sure <laughs> that we stop at the Lego store and do a collab, an IRL collab. We can do an A to Z of Lego down there. Or a which Lego theme are we? It'd be good to meet a fellow creator in the flesh. Because um, I haven't met anyone international, which is very exciting. But yeah, mate. We'll make it happen. Everything's close by. You just catch the tube, right? You should go to the big Lego shop in Leicester Square. Make sure to bring your... Oh, yeah. Lego passport will be in the bag before my official passport. Actually, that's a lie. It won't be. Because otherwise I won't get out of the country. But, yes. No, Lego passport will be hand in hand with the, the real passport. And, um... Leicester Square. It's actually on my to-do list. That's part of the itinerary is, you know, shopping around London... And the, one of the major stops, which my girlfriend put in there, not me, because she just knows me so well. Um, we're going to the Lego store in Leicester Square. I'm so excited. You need to, mate. Yes, definitely. It will be a great Lego video together. I know the manager in the main store, so they'll let us film properly. And they're mean. Even better. It's good to make friends with, with shop owners, because then they just let you in for, to like start filming. I've, um, the, the, the local stores here are pretty, seem to be pretty chill with me filming in there. I've never, never had an issue with it, but I've never really asked. I kind of just rock up and do it quietly. Um, but I'm fine with public speaking, so that's, that's cool by me. But sounds good, mate. We'll absolutely make that happen. I will, um, I'll check the itinerary and see when we can fit it in. But that is very exciting. I'm very excited to, to do that now, making me want to come over even, even sooner. But unfortunately, I've got to wait a little longer. <laughs> the lines for Leicester Square are huge. Oh, I bet. I bet they go around the block. Because it would be just such a tourist spot, right? Lots of people just go into the Lego store because it's a spot to be to go to, right? Whereas, I don't know, people like us, we like to go there genuinely to admire the Lego. Whereas people maybe just go there purely to... I guess they're going to admire Lego, but it's not the same when you're a huge Lego fan. <laughs> Yeah, mate, just let me know, and I'll save my time for it. Mint, bro, that sounds fantastic. That's exciting. <laughs> Have you got any big videos planned for yourself, though? Like, are you popping down to the Lego store anytime soon to film some more content, or are you just taking it easy? Alright, let's try and fit this plant in. Favourite Lego modular beside the detective set, Francis. Um, well, you know what? I have a new favourite. Um, well, maybe not a new favourite. The detective's office is still up there, but I have a new top top five favourite now that I've finally got it. And it's the Brick Bank. I got it last Saturday. Um, oh, it's over there. I can't even show you. <laughs> but it's there and it exists. And the Brick Bank, oh, it's beautiful. I really love it. Um, all of the different, like hidden trap doors and stuff. Kind of like the detective's office. I think that's why I like it so much. The fact that it has so many nooks and crannies for these burglars to come in and rob the bank and go through the laundry mat, the laundromat, money laundering, the connection there. That's so cool. It's so, so smart. 
People are... The Lego designers are so clever. Diego, hey mate. Thanks for showing up again. Good to see a friendly, familiar face. Tuesday, April 1st, we'll see. It sets, we'll second as it's back. Hold on. Yeah, true. <laughs> yep, gotta head down and get those April 2nd sets. <laughs> yeah, can't go down on April 1st when it's Easter, Easter Monday, so everyone gets another day off. It's weird having such a long weekend off, eh? Like, I haven't had this much time off work since Christmas, which is great. <laughs> The brick bank is so pretty and I love the green colour bricks. There's an odd, there's an ad on the side of the police station about the laundromat. There is, yes. That's how I sort of first found out about it because the police station I got towards the end of 2022, um, when I just started making content actually, is when I um, when I got the police station, which was quite cool. And um, yeah, I was like, oh, this is a, an interesting ad. I did my research, realised it was advertising for the brick bank and then ever since I've really wanted it. So I finally got it. A year and a bit later. Lots of patience. I bought it second hand, so I, you know, because I wasn't going to buy a new sealed and box one. That's just ridiculously expensive. But I'm pretty happy with the price that I paid. Um, that was my Lego allowance for the month. <laughs> Gone. But well worth it. Well worth it. No regrets. My favourite is the Jazz Club and the Batuco Tower and the both. Nice, mate. Um, the... The Jazz Club, that is definitely one of my favourites too. I really love the colour. The red. Red's my favourite colour, so I have a bit of a bias towards it. But it is pretty, pretty darn cool. That was the first modular I bought brand new on, like, close to the release. I, um, I didn't buy it on day one, like I did with the museum, but I bought it pretty close by to that. Um, because they got stock early in Wellington, which, oh, my old hometown, which was really cool. Got some cool videos playing with supercars and stuff, so that's exciting. Just trying to plan it properly. Yeah, Declan, your videos are fire. I agree with Diego. They're great. They're really good. Good short form content. I love it. Um, are the supercar videos going to be long form videos? Like going down the stairs? I love those ones. They're so funny. <laughs> like good, uh, good damage test to see how they do, eh? But good luck with doing those. It's good to plan them out properly because then you can really figure out the... The story structure and how it's gonna look in the edit which really does help keep people engaged and stuff I've found when you put more uh, planning into a video I guess right I quite like the history museum yeah the history museum is pretty good um, it, I, honestly it's not one of my favorites but I like the size of it it looks really nice on the shelf and I put some lights in it which is uh, even cooler <laughs> makes it cool I love the the purple uh, Bonsai tree out the front, it has some purple LEDs in it, which is fun. Well, I have contacts with someone who has a Bugatti and I have the Lego, so I'm going to capture... Oh, mate, that is so cool. You should build the Bugatti in the Bugatti. I think I saw another creator do something like that. They built the Jeep inside the Jeep, um, down at their local like Jeep shop, um, or a similar car. That is fun, I really like that. Use those contacts, man, that's so exciting. That'll make for some good content. I can already see the thumbnail. Big car, little car. I love how the newest Lego modular is. There's so much detail. Yeah, I agree, Francis. It's um, it's great that they have so much detail compared to the originals. I was at a Lego convention, like a brick show, just last week, last Sunday, and one of the guys there had all of the modulars from Cafe Corner all the way up to the jazz club he didn't have the museum so he was very envious of mine but i was looking at like the fire brigade fire brigade and the town hall which i do really want but they're so basic on the inside i was really excited to see what kind of details they had but there was like nothing in them so i was like ah oh, this is a little disappointing but i guess they were mainly external exterior facades right back in the day so they look good on the outside but they're pretty basic on the inside the fire brigade i think is the next one i really want to get the Fire Brigade, I just love the red once again, so it's always gonna be top of my list if it's red. <laughs> you should get the London postcard set in London. I should. Oh, I have a couple of fun ideas for building things near the real thing. Um, 
Uh, yeah, and the new Kawasaki Ninja, my girlfriend dad, is going to do that as well and make it a series and have some contacts for the super guys. Nice! Got to use those contacts, eh? That's exciting, dude. That's really cool. It's always about who you know, right? Not what you know. Well, I guess that helps to some extent, right? But definitely can help when you know people, for sure. Okay, guys. Michael's office is complete. Holy. Let me change cameras real quick. Oh, I just threw the... Look at this. Holy crap. This is so cool. <gasps> there he is. Michael Scott looking as grand as ever. We've got an ant trap, like Andy said. So many posters on the wall. The, all the different awards over there. On the table. The globe. Ah. This, this alone as a set, as a diorama, is so sick. Look at him. He's stoked. He's so happy to be there. <laughs> He's got his megaphone in the back. Blinds on the windows. World's best boss in the front there. Yes. I love it. It's so cool. <laughs> I do post animations on my YouTube channel, but I want to start doing something like a review of some Lego sets. You should do it. You should do it, Francis. There's nothing stopping you. Um, if you've got if you've got the confidence to, to speak or be on camera, then no reason why not. Find a, find a set that you love and are passionate about, and you'll the review will come on its own. You won't have to force it out. So, good luck. I will drop a sub so that I make sure to check it out when you do your first review. Declan, did you apply for the ambassador? I did. I did. Haven't told anybody that, but I did. So this is just between you guys, all 15 of you that are watching right now. Um, yeah, I applied for the ambassador program, which is exciting and also very nerve wracking because I don't know if I'm going to get in. I don't know. It's all about being unique. But at the same time, in the last round, they hired, they got like... 15 other people that were all into the same Star Wars stuff. So if they can get 15 Star Wars Ambassadors surely then they can you know uh, Get me in as a modular man from New Zealand, but I'm just keeping it, you know Open-minded for now, I guess I'm not um, not getting too far ahead of myself, I guess, because I just want to keep my expectations at a minimum. But if I get it, that will be very exciting. But I um, haven't told anybody that, so you heard it here first. Like you, like a lot of things. <laughs> I tend to say a lot of things here on stream first, which is uh, lucky for you guys. Because I can't hide it in an edit. <laughs> and I can't lie. Um, there was a YouTuber called Half Asleep Chris that did something like you were saying about building in front of the real thing. Yes, I love Half Asleep Chris. His content is so fun big fan of his stuff he was one of the actually one of the original inspirations for me actually doing like content like this in the first place so shout out to chris if you don't watch him already i would recommend checking him out um it's very inspirational and i think he's a lego ambassador as well good stuff and yes they did a rubbish job last time in my opinion like good for the people who got it but what they say, yeah, not great. Yeah, it's an interesting mix. I, I'm really happy for a lot of the people that got in because I'm actually, I've been in contact with them before they were ambassadors, which is really cool. So it's cool to see people I know getting into the program. Like, yay, go them. But um, yeah, there was plenty of people I didn't recognize. And I was like, oh, more Star Wars. Oh, more Star Wars. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll see. Thanks, mate. I appreciate it. <laughs> Um, oh, that was Andy that said we, you were definitely unique. Thanks, Andy. But yeah, no. Um, we'll cross our fingers, but we won't get our hopes up. <laughs> yeah, I have Phil and Dobby. <laughs> so, automatically unique, right? <laughs> Phil's right here. He's listening in. I had to move Dobby so I could fit everything on my desk, but Phil's here. He's listening in. He's also manifesting um, that both Declan and I get into the into the ambassador program crossing fingers for us both <clears throat> um, do you know when they review it again so I believe tomorrow is the last day that you can apply um, so it's like entries closed end of March they review through April and then they announce them by or publicly announce them in May that's how it happened last time anyway. I went back and like had a look at other people's announcement videos and saw they were doing it like early to mid-May. <sighs> I just realized I've started building on the wrong camera, but we got Kevin. Right, there he is. 
And there he is again. Sheesh! What a combo. My man, Kevin. Yeah! <laughs> Let's change camera. Okay. Actually, you know what? We're going to leave Kevin on screen. He's going to hang out right there. My man. Definitely you should do a video like Natural Disasters and Lego. Yeah, man. I agree. He should do that. Listen in, Declan. You should do that. <laughs> Just fun, chaotic videos, you know? They're, they're cool. Um, going back to what Andy said about Half Sleep Chris doing that kind of stuff. So, the idea that I have, that I want to do... Um, I have a feeling someone's going to do it before me, unfortunately. Um, just because I have to find the time to do it. But, I found out that where I live in Auckland, there is... Yes, Kevin! Kevin is here. Kevin... I love Kevin with my whole heart. Here he is. Eva loves Kevin. Andy loves Kevin. We all love Kevin. And I love Kevin too. Look at him. This graphic t-shirt, it makes him look so gangster. Just so cool. <laughs> um, where was I going? Oh yeah. I found out that in Auckland, where I live, there is one single red London telephone box. So try and guess where I'm going with this. There's what it's not even far from where I live, but I want to build a particular set inside the Red London telephone box. But I'm really scared someone's gonna do it before me because I just need to find the time to do it. So I'm saying it here on stream now, so the record's there. <laughs> Kevin is so me, I hate sharing MMs, and so to say, yeah, who the hell shares MMs? Keep them for yourself. If someone wants to share, just tell them to buy their own bag. Well, you man, let me tell you, your content is so good, like the quality and all that stuff blows my mind, you have a great chance. Thanks, Declan. That's really kind, man. I, um, I mean, it reassures me and I love hearing that, you know, people like, people, you know, think that the content is good. Because I try and put it the effort in and I'm glad that the, re the results show that. So, that's very kind, man. I really appreciate that. But like, likewise for you, man, like your content game is insane. You're really good at just pumping out content and doing topical things too, like using those trendy sounds on TikTok. I think that's genius. That's such a good way to build an audience. Um, I just don't do that. <laughs> so you've definitely built up a pretty good audience for a good reason. So I believe that you should have just as equal of a chance and crossing fingers for us both. Diego, I am trying to get better at LEGO videos, but I pull like 200, 500 views sometimes. But like, so do I. <laughs> Diego, so do I. It's honestly, it's a it's a rough game out there because there's so many people making videos, right? That, like, even my videos sometimes don't hit the same level that I expect. Like, I mean, I hate to, I hate to like moan about it, but, you know, I had pretty high expectations for my LEGO moving video and it just didn't quite hit the amount of views that I thought it would. It's still good. It's still at a, the average that my videos would be at, but sometimes videos just don't hit or they don't reach the right people. But then again, sometimes it just takes time. Like my video on the sitcom tower, which I posted in July last year or June, can't remember when. Um, I posted that and it got a pretty good amount of views up front, but then it died off. And then in January this year, it blew up, hit the, hit the algorithm, hit the homepage and all of a sudden got an extra 200,000 views in a month just because the algorithm was suddenly recommending it to people. So if things don't do well straight away, it's good just to keep them up and then they will do well in time, hopefully. Same with the Up House short. I posted the Up House short on YouTube. It had like 300,000 views and then all of a sudden it got another 600,000 views in a month, which was very overwhelming. I was like, holy crap, this thing just keeps going. But now it's slowed right down again. So, um... Yeah, YouTube's an interesting game, for sure. <laughs> it's um, it's it's called a experiment, really. Um, and honestly, at the end of the day, if you're enjoying making the videos, then who gives a shit about the views? Like, I'm making videos because I enjoy it. I'm not doing it to try and get famous or anything. I just love making videos, and I enjoy building Lego, so why not make videos and show it for the world to see, you know? Combine my two favorite things together. That was a long ramble. Damn, I just yapped for ages. I hope all of that made sense. Hopefully that inspired somebody. 
Holy crap. Saw a video on Planetarium in Auckland. It looks pretty cool. There's a Planetarium in Auckland? Didn't even know that. <laughs> I'll have to go check it out. There's another Planetarium in Wellington where I'm from, um, which I've been to on a school trip. It was very cool. Um, let me move this out of the way so I can lay it flat. So I'm going to have to go find this planetarium. Okay, where are we up to? Here. See, look at Declan, you're getting all the compliments. You have good content. Believe that. I mean, I'm sure you believe, I'm sure you know that, right? So, there's no, no denying that. If you believe in yourself, then you'll go far. Turning into a bloody preacher out here, Jesus Christ. Rest in peace, because it's Good Friday, he died yesterday. <laughs> God, I need to shut up. Um, um, where we're going? You mentioned before, Andy, about the London telephone box. Yes, the London telephone box. So yeah, I want to build the London telephone box inside a London telephone box because um, there's one in Auckland. There's a singular one in my city and I'm like, oh, that could be fun. Just spend a day or like a couple hours in their building. I'm just worried that because it's in public, it's at, like on a main street, someone's gonna like question me or some like dodgy person's gonna come and try and hurt me. So I might have to have a bodyguard with me. <laughs> but uh, that, is, that is a video idea that I do have that I'll do eventually. Um, and I also saw Emma Sora, she recently was like building the Millennium Falcon inside the Millennium Falcon at Disney World, which is another reason why I'm worried someone might also do the idea before me, because I'm like, people are, people are like pretty darn clever out there and they all have some pretty bright ideas and it's not a super original idea. So we'll see, we'll see if I get around to doing it. You guys can hold me to it. <laughs> if I don't do it, if I don't have it done by July, hit me up and be like, yo, where's that London video? One, two, three, okay. It's Auckland, no one will care at all. That is true, Eva. That is true. <laughs> but also, like, people in New Zealand are so nosy. Someone will be like, what are you doing in here? Or they'll think it's for, like, a TV show. They'll think I'm, like, on the news or something. Oh my gosh, you're on the news! <laughs> Yeah, it's not like it's the streets of LA or anything, but it's also in it's also in like a really rich area, like like a lot of wealthy, well-off people live there. So I don't know if they'll like get all annoyed, like all the old people, are like, oh, what's this kid doing in a freaking phone box? Get him out of there! But anyway, let's not forget the most important part of this entire build. Putting that there, but also. Kevin's Chili, which I didn't build at the start because I completely brushed over that entire segment, but I believe we build his chili with him. I got so caught up in building Kevin himself that I didn't build the chili, so we can't forget, yes Andy, we can't forget Kevin's Chili. Let's just quickly do that. This is this was my introduction to the office actually, the scene with Kevin's Chili. Rip the chili, Kevin the man. Look at him. He's so cute, he's so wholesome. The poor guy, I felt bad when he dropped his chili, but it's such an iconic scene. There he is. Oh, crap, he's, dro oh, fuck. he's genuinely dropping it. <laughs> it's too full. I think there's too many pieces in there, I need to take a few out. Just go four. One, two, three, four. Look at that, boom. Kevin and his chili. Yeehaw. How fun is that? <laughs> Very cool, okay. Now, let's keep him safe. He's just gonna chill. Let's just change the camera real quick. Here we go. He's just going to chill there with the rest of the gang. Yoo-hoo. There we go. There they all are. The boys are back. Woohoo! Poor Kevin. Spilt it everywhere. I teared up. <laughs> yeah, he's putting all this effort into making a really nice lunch for everybody, right? And then he spills it, the poor guy. It is a moment where you feel bad for them, but, you know, it happens. It happens. He cleaned it up well. Okay. Now, I believe we're building 
But we're building even more. <laughs> it just keeps going. I think we're building reception now. I see a handbag and I see a curved piece. This leads me to believe that we're building reception now. We're starting at the front door and working our way back. Yeah, I wonder what files he used to clean it up. What important documents did he sacrifice to clean up his chili? It'd be funny if there was like a carpet stain. There's a hole in the wall, right? Yeah, there's a hole in the wall for when Andy punches it. I think that's funny as well. Oh, markers? There's some like turquoise markers there. That's fun. Okay. Let's get that right here. Boom. Okay, where are we up to? Right, we're building our best mate from the warehouse, Daryl. Did I get his name right? This is Daryl, right? I had, a, I, had a, I had a mind blank for a second. This is Daryl. Look at him. He's got the senior warehouse worker uniform on. Yeehaw. Well, man, it's midnight here. I got work in the morning, so I'm off. Great stream. Keep up the work. Thank you, Declan. Yeah, <laughs> I must say, it's getting late, right? So, enjoy work tomorrow. Say hi to the Aussies for me. <laughs> Love saying that. But, um, yeah, we'll keep in touch about when I'm popping over to good old UK. And we'll work out a fun little collab, eh? But you have a good night and have fun at work tomorrow. And I'll uh, look out for your content on the Speed Champs and the Bugatti very soon. Which is going to be so sick. Alright, here's Terry's Diner. So this is when, uh, I believe it was, oh, what's her name with the red hair, the British red haired lady, asks for a taco and gives Daryl like 30 bucks or something. And he's like, oh, the taco was like three bucks or a burrito. Someone, uh, someone remind me, Andy, you'll know. I just realized my camera froze. Oh, my bad. Let me change my camera battery. Bear with. You know what? I'm going to change this camera real quickly. I was like, why is that frozen? Why can't you guys see anything? Because I need to change my battery. Let's try now. Bear with. Are we back? We're back. Cool. All right. Relief. <laughs> I was like, uh-oh. Something's gone wrong. Nelly. That's her name. So there we go. Here we go. Kevin. Not Kevin. Daryl and Terry's uh, takeout menu. Come on, mate. Focus for me. There it is. Very nice. Alright. So we'll leave him hanging out here. What's your current... What's currently my white whale set? So... God, I need another one, don't I? Because I just... Uh, my white whale set was the brick bank. And now I've got the brick bank. So it's like, okay, what's next? I'm going to have to put some thought into that. Um, let's say... I don't know, because I would say the London telephone box. But that's not really a white whale. Because I could just go down the road and buy it right now. But something that's retired... I'm just going to pick another modular. And that way I'll stick to it. And hopefully that's the one that I'll get next. Um, the fire brigade. With the fancy little old fashioned fire truck. That's an old one. Um, actually, no, there's, there was one that I was going to get. Um, sorry, I'm on my phone, but I'm Googling. Because I have every modular in a, in a sequence, but there was one in the middle that I'm missing. Oh, it's the town hall. Maybe I'm going to get the town hall next. So if we look at this list, let me just change my camera real quick. If we look at the list here, I focus i have every modular on that list from the pet shop downwards except the town hall so i think i want to fill this gap because it's annoying me that i have from here to here but i'm missing one so i'm going to go for the town hall i'm going to say that's my white whale set the town hall modular um so hold me to that fire brigade can wait Town Hall is up next, but the problem is that set is so expensive. Each is the, the older I get with the modulars, the more expensive they get. I have to take out like a loan or like 
<laughs> buy a house and sell a house to really afford them. Um, or win the lottery. Andy, minus Sesame Street. Sesame Street is a fun set. That was one of the first mocks that I did on TikTok, actually, when I started making content. I turned it into a modular, which was also the reason why I bought it. Because I, I loved the characters in Sesame Street, but I didn't like that it was an open back set and it was, it was a play set for kids. Boo. Boring. I was like, I want to make this a modular. Let me figure out how to do that. And then I discovered Rebrickable and was able to turn it into a modular that way. And now here we are making the office as a modular thanks to Rebrickable. But yeah, I think it was retiring. It was retiring and I was like, oh, this is a good chance to buy Sesame Street. Um, a good excuse to buy it because it's retiring and I want to turn it into a modular. So I did. And I didn't need any extra pieces. I just needed a base plate. And well, I guess I needed the, the tiles throughout the front, but everything that was in the set was able to build the modular, which was really cool. Which means some of the wall color is pretty wacky, but it looks great. It's very cool. Who's messaging me? That's oh, freaking Getting all these <laughs> spam emails at the moment, it's crazy. The Muppet minifigures, they're so cool. I also have those somewhere. Oh, they're in my wardrobe. One sec, I'll show you. Okay, here we are. Muppets minifigures. I put them in a case because I was like, these have to be looked after at all cost. So, um, I think I bought all of these at once because my local toy store decided, you know what? We're going to open them up and label which one is which. <laughs> so, um, I was able to walk into one store and they had all of them, which was great. And I just bought them all at once. I didn't have to blind bag any of them, um, which was great for me. Um, I, I think... Uh, I think I bought an extra Miss Piggy, but I have since sold her. Or do I still have it? I'm not sure. But yeah, these are very cool. I love the Muppets. Beaker in the back there with the tall head, red hair. He's my favourite. I love that guy so much. He's so funny. <coughs> Rate that impression. <laughs> really need a Lego Room Tour video. Yeah, man. Lego Room Tour video will be coming a little later. It'll be coming in June. I just realised I didn't change my camera. I'm going to do that in June, which is like the anniversary of my uh, my first LEGO Room Tour. Because by then I'll have done the Mifflin up and um, all sorts of new buildings on the shelf. So it'll be a bit more of a cooler tour with some new buildings on there. But it is coming, never fear. Okay, we're putting down another sticker. Which is Dwight's facts to himself. <laughs> Future Dwight, do not drink coffee. When Jim pulls yet another famous prank on Dwight about him being in the future. I think he always pranks him to like be like a spy as well. And like he goes to the rooftop for something. But that's pretty fun. Um, blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, I'm jealous. <laughs> Sorry, Andy. Hopefully you can find them second hand somewhere. I'm sure some, surely someone over in Ireland is, is selling them and doing something to get rid of them. Fingers crossed anyway, for your sake. Because um, they are great. Does it light up? No, unfortunately, Diego, the case with the Muppets doesn't light up. <laughs> um, that would be cool if it did. That's just a cheap case from, like, our, like stationary store called Kmart down the road um, cost me like 10 bucks I just needed something cool to display them and that's what that was I got that before I had a shelf or any modulars that was like when I was slowly edging back into Lego which was um, quite fun I forgot a sticker 24 what is this 24 It's a... Alright, I need Andy's expertise again. What is this blue checkered thing? Is it a screen to do with the... The fax machine? What is this? Someone enlighten me and tell me what this is. You have no idea. Nice, okay. 
There we go. We have no idea what that is then. I will have to Google it at a later date. Um, what I must say, did you buy the display case form from Mini Blog? No, I got it from like a, a local, my local Kmart, which is like a an everything store. You go there to buy everything. They've got bedding and toys and books and clothing and everything. Um, so they they have a great range of Lego and they always have it really cheap, which is so good. Um, but they also sell like third party display cases and really dodgy old like bricks like build not lego bricks um but they had those display cases and they look great and they were reasonably priced <laughs> so had to get it i put that in the wrong spot what to do there um okay let's go i went through the foot hole i went through the seasons trying to find what it was but i couldn't find it interesting okay must be a nod maybe it's a lego designer nod or is it? No, it can't be the water cooler because that's. I don't know. Interesting. Who knows at this rate? Let's stick that there. Okay. We will. Uh, it must. Maybe it is a screen for the, the, the printer or the fax machine because they do have to like tap buttons and do stuff with it. So maybe it's something to do with that. Evo came out as great. It is. Come out is great, and it's open till midnight, so you can just pop down the road when you got like, want to get something, you know. <laughs> if I decide at midnight or at eleven o'clock at night, I want a Lego set, I can just go down to my local Kmart and pick one up. It's great. Thanks for the video. I'm inspired to build Sit Complex. Currently working on the Central Perk. Nice man. Central Perk was it's my favorite level on the Sit Complex. Honestly, um, it is so cool. I love. I don't know, it's so accurate to the show, I feel, which is really awesome, um, compared to some of the other ones, which are still accurate, but that one just takes the cake as far as accuracy goes. And good luck with building your own sit complex. Are you gonna, like, what's, which sets, are you gonna, like, do friends and... Seinfeld and everything or are you gonna find some other sets to turn into a sick complex because they brick artists and also um, did instructions for BTS and the office and all sorts of other um, Sets just to fit them in Okay, and now we got filing cabinet there Zoom in a little there nice Which do you prefer friends or the office well? I haven't watched Friends. <laughs> I watched a couple episodes of the first season. Um, I remember getting up to an episode where... Um, oh god, I'm forgetting characters' names. One of this... Matthew Perry's character, uh, he's stuck in an elevator. Um, or stuck in a bank with a woman. Um, I remember that episode. I think that's from the first season? Maybe the second season? I remember that episode anyway. Um, and I think that's as far as I got. <laughs> and then I just haven't gone back to watch it. I think I started watching The Office, actually. So, I would definitely say I prefer The Office. Because I've watched more of it, and I resonate with it more. And Friends, I feel like it kind of dragged on a lot. It definitely went on a while. <laughs> but it has its cult, just like The Office has its cult. And I will watch it one day. I... I say that to myself, um, when I run out of shows to watch, I will watch it, but it's not my, not top of my list. Yeah. Was, it's funny, this song did start playing, I was waiting for you to say that, Andy, I was like, oh, there's, there's that one song again, Laufey, um, which I still haven't done any research on outside of here, but good cover, great cover, bang a tune, <laughs> it had to always show up at some point, because <laughs> I'm playing the same playlist. Kiwi, I had the same display box for the minifigures, but mine does light up. They look exactly the same, but yours doesn't light up. Interesting. Well, you've clearly got the deluxe version, because, yeah, mine definitely doesn't light up. It's, uh, it looks like it has, like, nah, nothing. This is cheap. This is so cheap and gross. I mean, they all probably look the same, right? Let me change cameras real quick. They all look the same, right? So, they probably look very similar and is made in the same place, but you might have got, like, the deluxe version, which does light up. I think they might have made a version which lights up, but not this one. 
Um, because you're right, there is like a, I mean, it's like a vacuum seal. Maybe this is where the light's meant to go. There's like a little, little indent in there. And there's like a, a micro, yeah. Maybe they pulled the light out of this one. They made the light version and the non-light version. Because there's a gap where there could definitely be a light. You can't really see it, but up the back there. So, holy, I got scanned. No, I'm kidding. It was just something to put them because I, I didn't have a shelf at the time to put any Lego sets on. So, bought a cheap ass display case. Anyway, back to <laughs> back to work, I guess. This stream has all my hyper fixations. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm glad I'm uh, hitting all the hitting all the tick, ticking all the boxes for you, Andy. Glad to hear it. The office and Laufey and Lego. <laughs> what a combo. But anyway. We're building the reception at the moment, which is pretty fun, um, by the looks of it anyway. Um, looks like we're building Pam's desk, which is very exciting. Pam or Erin, depending which season of The Office you watch, I guess, but we'll say Pam because it's more iconic that way. Um, oh, and there's even a phone sticker. Who's calling Pam at the front desk? What number sticks is that? 49. 49, 49, 49, 49, 49. Oh, there's so many. Holy. Oh, it's just blank. Oh, that's boring. <laughs> I thought, oh, this is going to be something cool. There's going to be like a, like Jim calling her or her husband or something. But no, just, just a blank phone. That's okay. I understand. Bobo Bricks. Hello. Thanks for showing up, man. Appreciate you being here. How are you doing? We get to see the bowl of candy. We do. Kim is not allowed to touch this bowl of candy. He can have his own. Okay. Where are we up to? That goes there. That goes there. Okay. Progress. I realize shit. I'm not even showing you guys what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry, I need to change cameras. Here we go. We're building the desk. It's coming along strong. Boom. Look at that. Pam's Pam's desk. It's coming along. Damn. I need to remember to change cameras. <laughs> Amateur mistake. Um, what am I doing? Putting that on there. This bag was pretty big. This was definitely one of the bigger ones so far. We get to see the message between Jim and Pam on their computers. Yes. Do we? That's so, oh, I guess that's where the computer screen. Oh, I see it. It's in the next step. Oh, I'm excited. Uh, we're going to put the reception uh, plate down first. That's more important. Because we've got to make sure we know where we are. At reception. Why did I sing that? Boom. Lucky that. Amazing reception sign. Change my thing to that. Um, and now we get to build the computer screen. Okay, ho ho, here we go. What are Jim and Pam talking about? On screen number 18. Oh, it doesn't actually say anything. <laughs> but if you get the reference, then you'll know that they're like e messaging or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Please do four private drive from Harry Potter. Well, I'll have you know, I've actually already done that. Not in a video though, I just built it for fun. Let me show you. Excuse the fact that I've got no shoe, no socks on, so I've got bare feet right now. Don't look at my, don't look at my, don't look at my feet. But, I bought Privet Drive. I bought two of them. Oh, so that I could build it into a modular. And here we are. I just need to buy a base plate so I can fit it into the city, but here you go, bubble in Toyland. Privet drive, just for you. <laughs> and it's fully modular, so it comes apart, different levels. Um, but I'm gonna buy um, some more parts to add on the garage to the side, on that side, and also a base plate so it sits into the city nicely. 
Very cool. I think it's when the episode when more owls. Yeah, yeah, more owls. Um, I've got what one, two, three on the shelf over there because I bought the um, the Ford Angular car or Ford Anglia, whatever the word's called, car, the new set, and it came with an owl as well. And then I've got two of the private drive sets, so I've got three owls now, and then I've got a poly bag with another owl in it. So I've got so many headwigs. <laughs> So many headwigs, holy. Okay, what are we looking at here? I think it's when the episode when Jim wanted to meet Pam at the gas station proposed. Do I thought they were messaging her about him? <laughs> of course. Do I think everything's about him? Every, he always thinks the world's out to get him. Poor guy. But that is cute. Um, okay, bowl of candy. Boom. Boom, right there. I need to change my camera again, goodness me. Um, and then we got this with a pen in it. Very nice. And last but not least, a cup. Boom. Sell the spare owls. I could, but I like to have lots of owls. <laughs> you know, it's cool to have lots of owls. Um, make an owl farm. No, I don't know. I probably will. Maybe. <laughs> I don't really have the need to sell any of my Lego right now. I like to just hold on to it all and something will come with, of it later. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's bag number four. We've just built Pam's desk. Looking groovy. No Pam yet, but we have Daryl. I believe we're building, building Pam next. But we've built Daryl, we've built her desk with the, the printer and the fax machine and her computer in the back. That's fun. And a bowl of candy on the on the desk, the pen. Yeah. Are you building the set or the modular? So to build the modular, gotta build the set. So we're just building this the office set in the stream, and then it'll eventually wind up on top of this big build over here. Which is very exciting. Bag number five. Guys, we're halfway through the build. Full warning, I don't know if I'm going to build this entire thing on stream, but we'll try and get a good chunk of it done, um, just because I don't want to be on here for hours on end, and also, people have to go to bed. I don't know how streamers can do like, full 8 hour days on here just talking, um, that is brave of them. Gotta head to work now at 7 a.m. in Vietnam. Good luck with the stream. Thanks, mate. Thanks for showing up and have a good day at work. Good luck. I hope it's a great day. Thanks for stopping by, Bao. Angela. Yes, Angela and Pam. It looks like we're building. Mm. Our girl Pam and Angela, the cat lover. Oh my god, there's a cat in here. There's a cat in the bag. I'm yapping all the time, so I feel like eight hours would be light work. Yeah, I yap a lot too, as you can tell. I get in front of a camera and I just start talk, talk, talking. But then again, I'm trying not to make the stream boring, you know? I feel like if I was, um, if I was quiet, it would just be boring, you know? Gotta keep talking, gotta keep people engaged. Um, that's what I try, but also, you know, I like talking anyway, so that's fine. Alright, make sure we use the right head. Boom. Here we have our best friend Pam with the teapot, the famous teapot, Ooh. which Jim professes his love for in, but then he gets nervous and takes it out and doesn't tell it till season seven or whatever the last season was. But there we go, there's Pam, very nice. We can sit her at reception, apparently reception is French. Put her teapot down there. She can be yapping away to Jim on the Teams chat or whatever they use in the office world. Microsoft Teams. Something or other. <laughs> uh, now we've got to build Angela. Season 9. That was it. Season 9. I was like, oh, seven seasons. That's the last season. Nope, there wasn't seven. There was nine. 
Uh, let's put Angela's resting bitch face on there because she's always in, in a mood. Um, what colour are her legs? Black. Here she is. And she gets her... <laughs> she gets her gift from Toby! With the two babies! How cute! <laughs> oh my god. This is hilarious. And they're Lego babies too, that's even funnier. Look at this. Look at that, that's... that's fucking funny. <laughs> I love that they've just recreated in Lego. That's so awesome. So we'll give that to Angela. Um, her cat's not here yet. I'm assuming we're going to put her cat straight in the filing cabinet. But anyway, nonetheless, there's Angela in all her glory. Yeah, the baby poster and all, Andy. Looking good. All right. Okie doke. So now, oh, looks like we're building the fire extinguisher. Big rip to the to the episode where they have the fire drill. Um, I need to put those spare pieces in a bag. So let's just do that. Before we kick off. Spare pieces in the bag. 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 Spare pieces are now in the bag. Cool. Okay. Moving on. I don't think they used the fire extinguisher until Dwight did it at the end. Yeah. No, they didn't. They couldn't use it because <laughs> they were too busy trying to leave the building and didn't think about how to, what to do in a fire drill. Because they all panicked. Which is really funny, but also proves that they didn't listen to Dwight. Understandably. It would be annoying to have to listen to him all the time. Um, but anyway, let's build it so that they've got one for next time. Um, so chuck that in there like so. Spare pieces, a tiny snack, a quote from my brother. Nice. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, no, uh, kids don't eat Lego. It's not good for you. No nutritional value whatsoever, but also a choking hazard. Eek. Okay. That'll do, just chill in there. It's quite a little bit empty space for this fire extinguisher, but whatever. Um, let's chuck that there. Oh, no, that goes there like this. Keep it closed, boom. Okay, and then that goes there like this. Cool. Um, and then we got two. And then a one. Eli Bricks. Hey, mate. Thanks for showing up. How you doing? Happy Easter. You should do it. You should double the new city car wash set. Car wash set. You know, you're right. I... I really want to get the car wash set, not gonna lie, but I just don't have anywhere to put it in the city. I don't, I need like a really dedicated spot for it, but I did just, my girlfriend just bought, built the, um, this train station set last night, which I need to make room for. So maybe we make a space which has the corner garage, the car wash, the train station, all those kind of things. Is there every brickable instructions to double the new car wash? Let me know, Bubble in Toyland. Um, oh, I'm just going to call you Bubble. Let me know, Bubble. Because <laughs> I'm curious. Um, and maybe that will be the reason I buy it. So I can double it and put it in the city somewhere. Because it, it was all about placement for me. I just didn't know where to put it. Lego Ger Gerky. Hey, mate. Thanks for showing up. Gerky? Like turkey, but with a G? Thanks for stopping by. Listen to this great background music. Ludwig really got tunes banging in the background you should make michael's car I should <laughs> i can park it out the front because there's like four car parks here so i've got to put people's car cars in there and i'll get um angela being run over no not angela uh meredith i'll get meredith being ran over not that i endorse that at all um but all of the watermelon being thrown onto someone's car whatever car that was that could be funny so many references outside I need to put Dwight on the roof. I know that much. 
Oh no, it wasn't Dwight on the roof, it was Michael on the roof. <laughs> but yeah, so many references. So many fun references. I've got so many cool ideas. Make sure Meredith keeps an eye out just in case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Turkey, but with a G. Well, Lego Gurky, thanks for stopping by. Happy Easter. Real unique name. <laughs> when does Kratos come to the item shop and how long will he stay? Um, God, you've lost me there. Kratos. I'm... <laughs> you're gonna have to... Ref I think I'm having a mind blank. Refresh me who or what Kratos is. But there's a video by someone. Minifig Jazz? Okay. Alright. Minifig Jazz. Okay. I'll go find their video and see if I can uh, build it. Uh, the car wash, I'm assuming. Stanley has to be careful with his car too. And Dwight with the megaphone telling Michael to do a flip. <laughs> do a flip! This music's a bit terrifying. What is going on here? Yoshi's story? I don't like that. That's really scary. Okay, let's just let this one run instead. Cool. Oh. Hey, Eli, I'm sorry. I have no idea what Kratos is. <laughs> I'm having a mind blank. I've just been reading a lot of messages and comments. The decorations up and on my shelf above my bed a goose is staring into my soul <laughs> interesting a goose very specific is that an easter easter themed like an easter related animal in ireland <laughs> a goose i guess i don't know now in new zealand we talk about like chickens a lot like eggs new life and all of that jazz that the bible talks about What are we building here? Oh, we're building the couch. This is the parkour couch. So this is exciting. They come bursting through the door. Parkour! Parkour! Diego, Kiwi, do you have Discord? Um, I do have a personal Discord. I don't really use it because, I don't know, Discord just kind of goes over my head. <laughs> I, um, I prefer other modes of communication. But I do have a Discord, um, and if there's like any group, group chats on Discord, then um, I do join them occasionally. But I don't have a personal like Discord group or anything, no, because it's not really my cup of tea, you know. However, if there's uh, some Discord groups out there, I wouldn't say no to joining them and talking about Lego and all of that. I'm in a couple. Stud City has one, and Republic Bricks also, or Republic Studs, one of them. Republic something. He has one too, which I think I was added to, so. With Dyke's weapon hidden under. Yes! That's what all this is. I was like, there's different colours here for a reason. That's smart. And this camera won't focus. There it is. Nice. We love hidden details. Ho ho. I can invite you to a Lego group on Discord. Um, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I don't I don't use Discord very often, but you're more than welcome to invite me to it. Send me a message on Instagram and I will accept it. Um if I feel like joining. But um yeah, like I say, I'll join it, come say hi, but I don't I don't use Discord very often, so I won't be on there all too much. <laughs> Full disclaimer. Alright, let's get these figures out of the way. It's time to start building out the back. So we've put the couch down. Very nice. Very exciting. Now we're dropping stuff everywhere. I need to fit the teapot on here. 
I can't put both. Put the teapot in the candy bowl. That'll do. <laughs> Can I join two Diego Bros? I collect a bunch of Lego key rings, so I have like 14 key rings in one key. <laughs> well, at least you'll never be like, oh, where's the key? I need to open this door because there's only one key. So that's a relief for you. Um, wait, what are we doing now? This is like the back of accounting. They haven't. Accounting's not in this. Accounting will be upstairs, I think. That'll be upstairs in the um, the Dunder Mifflin build. But um, they don't build it in here, in this one, which is unfortunate. I guess it was. It could only be so big, right? So they can only fit so many references in and so many parts in. I know a lot of people have expanded this before. Um, they've built out the entire office, but that is just way too big and way too wide for me. My music stopped. Oh, we reached the end of the playlist. Um, live stream music background no copyright let's just play this one the most generic sounding music ever sounds grand anyway oh look the cat's already in the drawer <laughs> which i'm assuming is going to happen any moment now we must be putting the cat in there at some point which is exciting okay let's build this filing cabinet out all right check that on the bottom check that there check that there okay all right that goes there boom very cool and another piece of paper, Dunder Mifflin ink. This must be like a, a paper stack of sorts. I should have put that on before I put the piece down. I wish they made an add-on with the annex, accounting, kitchen and bathrooms. Yeah, it would be nice, eh? but I guess because this was a Lego idea set, there's only so much they can do with that budget. But that's why you have mock designers to be able to do that for you. Um, so I've seen a couple of people who have built expansions, but those expansions don't fit in a building to this size, unfortunately. So we've taken matters into our own hands and have gone just put the rest of it, the annex, the bathrooms, accounting. They're upstairs now. <laughs> unfortunately, I have to go with back later. No worries, Bubble. Or Bobby, is that your name? I can't, I can't read it on this screen. But anyway, thank you for showing up. I appreciate it. Um, have a good time wherever you, whatever you end up doing. And we'll see you later. When are you going to get the Avengers Tower? That is a great question. Um, sometime between now and the end of the year. Probably closer to the end of the year. Because this was the same price as an Avengers Tower. So that has uh, been my priority more so <laughs> than that. But one day. We'll get it one day. I built the wrong things. Oh, I put that there. That was meant to go there. Funny. Ha uh ha. -huh. But yeah, we'll get it one day. Super games. We'll get it one day. Um, sometime before it retires. And when it's on sale. Like 20% off. I'm not buying it full price. Can you make an updated version of the Lego City on Shell's video? Yep. That's the plan, Super Gurky. Super Gurky? No, I just blended two names together. Lego Gurky. Um, I plan to do that in June, after I've built, um, after I've built this and a few other sets, and rearrange the display a little bit. Um, try and make it a bit more updated before I do an update video. But it's on the to-do list. Don't worry, and we'll do it in a couple of months' time. Hope the bathroom includes the couch. <laughs> The couch that Kevin sees when he goes into the well. That's funny. Yep, um, I I don't remember actually if it does include it. I'll have to check. Otherwise, I'll just build one. I'll build a big, bright couch that will fit in there. That's good to know. Yep, never, mind, never fear, mate. We will get that update video done eventually. <laughs> Try and make it as cool as possible, you know? I'm a big advocate for quantity, no, other way around, quality over quantity. So I'll put in the effort to make a video as good as I can before I start filming it. Make sure I'm all ready to go. 
All right, we're putting stuff on the wall right now. This teapot is going everywhere. You know what? I'm going to put the bowl of candy down there because it's empty, and the teapot can go up there instead. Boom. Okay. This goes up there. That paper that Dwight says is the most yummy. <laughs> yummy, yummy paper. Another reference. Um, okay, we've got so many stickers for this one. Holy. I'm gonna make sure I get the right ones. Sticker number 17, where are you? Where are you? There it is, the award. And that goes on this one. And then that goes on the wall. Oh right, and that goes there. Might just tilt this sideways so you guys can see as I do it. No, that was a terrible idea. Can't see anything. Now we lost the pen and the candy bowl. That's okay. She'll be right. Um, what's next? We put the award up for that. Um, now we've got another award that we're going to do, which is number. Okay. <laughs> There's so many stickers. Hold on. What are we doing here? No smoking, I can do that. No smoking and it's right by the fire detector. And also no smoking but Dwight smokes a cigarette and then puts it in a rubbish bin of gas. <laughs> How ironic. Um, okay, this one. 23, I can do that. Um, I just put 23 in the other one. Whoops, Daisy, we've got these around the wrong way but that's okay, don't tell anybody. It doesn't matter, it's not the end of the world. She'll be fine. Um, 22. We'll put 22 on this one instead. What is your go-to place for Lego? For me, it's Toy World. Um, Toy World. It's funny. I actually just bought those those custom minifigures earlier from Toy World. Um, and they've, they've always got good sales on. Um, and they're locally owned as well, which is cool. Um, but, yeah, honestly, I'll just go with whoever has the cheap price. Or if no one stocks it except the Lego store, then we'll get it at the Lego store. Uh, yep, it's five minutes to 2 p.m., Andy. So Super Games is onto it. Um, okay, big poster, big picture. 27. This is a big one, so we can't get this one wrong. No, didn't line that one up at all. Holy. Okay, flatten that one out. Boom. We are in. That goes there above there. Very nice. What is your favorite modular set? My guess is probably the Detectors Office of the Museum or the Sanctum. Well, you're right. It is one of those three. Um, it's the Detectors Office. <laughs> That set is grand. I love it. It's great. Um, it's, yeah, number one for me. Love the color. Love the masonry bricks. And all of that good stuff. Um, but Sanctum Sanctorum is definitely up there as well. Um, museum, it's it's in between. It's an in-between one for me. I like it, but I like the size more than the... I don't like the color. I'm not a huge fan of the color, honestly, on the outside, um, if I'm being quite honest. But... Yeah, no, it's it's definitely, I love the size and I love all the, the mini builds on the inside of it. Okay, I think we've built all those stickers. God, that took a minute. Holy. So now we add the satchel from Jim Satchel. The umbrella. So many little things. Holy. Um, a pot plant. Oh, and look at that. Now we get to put the cat in the drawer. Um, so, oh, there's a missing piece. What did I do wrong here? Where did I forget one? Ah, right here. I see where I did that wrong. Check that there. Okay, and now, last but not least, Cat. Oh, let's focus that. Cat going in the drawer, in the cupboard. Bye bye. <laughs> that was so elegant. How crazy. 
Ah, uh, yep. There's the there's the coat hanger that Jim moves with his mind because he's got telekinesis. How crazy! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> My insomnia is coming in clutch today. Yeah, good on you, Andy. Um, yep, bandit bandits in the cupboard. Um, far out. We've done a lot, and it's been nearly two hours. Holy. Okay, maybe we'll do one more bag. What is the next bag? We got Oscar, and oh, okay, so we add the entrance. I'm just getting a sneak peek at what we're actually building next. Oh, yep, I see where we're going with this. Okay. Okay. Let's build bag number six, and then we'll call it a day. Yo, yeah, okay, I sent you a message on Instagram so I can add you to the Lego group in Discord. Main. Thank you, Diego. I will look at that after the stream and um, add myself or we'll get into it. Okay. Anyway, um, onwards to bag number six. Back seven, back six. So this this bag I believe is fleshing out the doorway and a bit more of the walling around here and then it's from bag seven onwards is when it goes a bit more crazy but the figure in this bag is Oscar. Bandit will never see the light of day again. No. Well, you know what? I kind of feel bad for Bandit. Maybe I'll pull him out. Come on, Bandit. Get out of here. <laughs> Bandit can hang out up there until the set goes into the into the uh, the rest of the building. We'll be nice. We'll be nice to him. Okay. Anyway, let's get building. Okay, okay. Okay. So, let's start strong. Let's put Oscar in here. They've all got two faces, which I really like. They both come with jewel molded faces. Uh, jewel printed, I guess, not molded. Um, he's got grey pants, and he's got a calculator because he's a smart little accountant. Come on, pick up your calculator, G. There it is. Here he is, Oscar in all his glory. Yo! He's got his calculator. He's got his purple fit, which he always wears. And we'll chuck him right here next to the others up the front. This is so cool. I love all these characters. Ha! Oh, this is so fun. We love to see it. Um, okay. So let's do this. Double stack that. Do, 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 So we're building the entrance wave now by the looks of it. We've got to put the door in the frame. Oh, that's the wrong door frame. Door handle, I mean. And that goes there. Boom. And all right, and this goes here. Oh, that has the Dunder Mifflin sign on it. Oh, okay. We're gonna make sure we put that one in there. Don't know. Do I want to put this on the inside? Surely. Surely I can use this somewhere else. And I have to get a, a duplicate copy of this sticker so I can stick one on the outside of the big building. I guess that makes sense. There we go, Dunder Mifflin, just so you know where we're at. In case you forgot, we're in Dunder Mifflin. We're in Dunder Mifflin. Crazy. That gets a shot. Right there, there you go. Wrong way around. Okay, that goes there. Um, oh, and then we put this in, what is this? Is that a window? It is a window. Oh, that's the window in office in Michael's office. I remember this because this is the window you see through when you are at the start of the episode. When you see through the window and he's like got his little dundee on the table. Very cool. This is very <laughs> royalty free music. Dunder Mifflin, the people's person, paper people. 
Yeah, I can't remember how that jingle goes. I'm also not even going to try and sing it, but thank you, Andy, for those lyrics. <laughs> okay, what are we building here? That goes one. Oh, and a three. One, two, three. Boom. Uh, right, now let's smooth it out with some tiles. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, and now chuck this here. And this is where we put Pam's painting of Dunder Mifflin. I love that. So here we go. That's Pam's Pam's picture right there in the middle, number 14. So we're gonna take that and put it on this piece here. That's very cute. I like that episode. It was very wholesome that Michael bought that. What a good boss. That is a moment where I was teary-eyed. You can send Lego an email saying your Lego set didn't come with a sticker sheet and they send you another one for free. Oh, okay. I would be lying if I said I didn't come with one. I hope they don't see this stream. <laughs> but that is a good little hack to know, Andy. Have you tried that in the past? Have you said, hey, I'm a, I didn't get a Lego sticker sheet. Can you send one for me? And then they set one, and you got a spare Lego sticker sheet. Maybe I'll give it a go. I'll see if I need it first. I'll see how desperately I need it. Okay, and then that goes there, and then that goes there. So now we're building another chair. This is the chair that's under the painting. I don't remember this one on the show. What's so famous about this little chair? Oh, yes, I have, oopsies. <laughs> Which set did you do that for? Which set did you do that to get free stickers, Andy? I won't tell anyone, it's okay. I needed one in my policy. Oh, it didn't come with it, okay. So you did it for the for the right reason. It wasn't just you wanted to try and exploit it and get free stickers. How long did it take to, for them to show up? If you ordered the the stickers from them, how long, how many weeks did it take for them to ship them? Or did it come pretty quickly? Because they would just come in like a like a postcard, wouldn't they? Like in a letter, not in like a courier bag or anything. Three days. Oh, that's not bad. I guess you're in Europe, so it would show up real quickly. Whereas I'm in New Zealand, and these kind of things would take weeks to show up. Unless they have a dedicated team here with um, spare stickers hanging around, which they might. But um, I will keep that in mind. Alright guys, bag six is already coming to a close pretty darn quick. We're building a pillar. More certificates, these are all Oscar and Angela's certificates I believe, because they're smart little accountants. Hooray hooray. 13 and 20. The Civil Award. The chair has clues for Jim Scavenger Hunt for the golden chalice for Dwight. <laughs> oh, nice. See, I knew it was a little reference that I wasn't going to catch on to quick enough. I need to do a, every every reference to the office inside this Lego set. Because there'll be everything in this set, plus more. Oops, we're going to have to move. Boom. Okay. That goes there. Oh, fold the page in half. Oh, how the hell does this work? Oh, this goes on upside down. I see. I see. And it just covers that. How charming. Okay. All right, now we're building. Oh, so this is the photocopier. Ah. Printers and scanners and fax machines. So much old tech in this building. <laughs> it's crazy. The old printer. There we go. It's the old printer. Look at that. Onto it. Um, that goes there, and then that must go there, the little glass panel, ah, and that goes there like that, oh, look at that, printer's coming to life, 
well, I guess it's the old one, so it's quite not alive, but one can dream. And that goes there. What a cool printer. <laughs> I want this printer. Okay, and that goes there. And then we take this and go there. And then that one goes there. Oh, how fun. That's so cool. This is such a cool build. It's the little things. Oh, and then it sits up right like that. Oof, this is so cool. <laughs> Look at me getting excited over a printer. I was just roasting it to shreds before, and I'm like, oh, you know what? This is actually really cool. Oh, look at that. Nice. How cool, guys. Look at that. Let's have my finger out of the way. What a cool little printer. Let's close that up. Rest in peace, old printer. You will be missed. Okay, so I've missed some pieces. Why have I got these left over? <laughs> these ones, I understand, but why are you still here? <laughs> I didn't put something in there. Mm -hmm. That one goes there. Classic me, forgetting to put pieces in again. Oh, that'll be there. Okay, I get that. Look at me, Kevin's photo coffee. <laughs> yeah, we'll put Kevin on top of that photo machine so that he can photocopy his ass. Where do these pieces go? Sorry, now I've got to backtrack and see where the hell I missed something. That goes there, that makes sense, because that's a chair. Okay, so now we're just forgetting where the one piece went. Ah, that goes there, I see. Okay. Guys, we did it. Holy crap, we've just built 6 out of 10 parts of this bloody build. Um, oh, Jim and Dwight are next. You know what, I'm going to open the bag just so we can build Jim and Dwight. But, I'm ending it here. <laughs> but I need to build Jim and Dwight on stream. Um, just because. But I need to go and um, have some lunch and have a breather before I continue this. So, I'm going to tip the bag out. Just to build Jim and Dwight, make a loud ass racket, but then we're leaving. <laughs> then we're leaving. That's Jim's haircut. Okay, I can see the pieces already. Ooh, this is exciting. Okay. On oh, his, <laughs> his, his freaking blades, his ninja, ninja stars. Oh, this is iconic. I love it. Okay. Dwight's hair. Oh, he's got a nice hair piece. It's got a nice texture to it. And then Jim. Jimothy. Let's put a little... His, his office looking at the camera face. Here we go. Look at that. Alright, let me just... Oh, how good do these guys look? Jim is like... Jim and Dwight are spot on. The designers really went to town on these characters, eh? They look so nice. Jimothy Helper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Awesome stream, Kiri. Will you stream again to finish off the set? I might. Um, maybe I'll stream on Monday, which is Sunday for most people. Um, see how I get on. I'm definitely not streaming tomorrow because that's Easter. I like to spend time with my family, um, which is just me and my girlfriend here. Um, but... Yeah, I might do. Uh, if you do, you'll see a notification prior to uh, me going live. I give you guys a bit of notice, so you're uh, you're in the know. But thank you guys for stopping by. That was a fun couple of hours. Holy. Um, but I'm going to go have some lunch now. But yeah, for those of you who are still here, thank you for stopping by and tuning in. This was a lot of fun. I'm very excited to finish this off. I might finish this build before... The next stream? No, you know what? I'm going to save it for the next stream. I'm going to save this until Monday, if I build it. Whenever the next stream is, I'll save it for then, so we can finish it off together. And then we'll be able to incorporate it onto that as well, which will be extra exciting. But, um, yes, had a lot of fun with you guys as well. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Diego. 
I'll see you guys for the next one, whenever that is. Hopefully Monday, but you'll know. You'll know. You'll see the notification come up well in advance. But, um, yeah. Wow, holy. I think I got some lunch. So, see you guys later. Have a good evening and Saturday and Easter. Hope the Easter Bunny gets you lots of chocolate. <laughs> Catch you guys later. How do I end this? Oh, there's the end button. See ya.